Financial accounting. We've been talking about financial analysis and doing some ratios to figure out how well a company is doing. We're going to look at the profitability ratios and those focus on the income statement a lot. So the first one is the profit margin. Profit margin uh, is net income divided by net sales. In other words, comparing the bottom line with the top line. So for X7, in short exercise 7, we find that the bottom line net income is 28,000. The top line net sales is 360,000. So as far as what is the profit margin, it's 7.8%. If I compare that with the previous year, X6, it would have been 9.7%. Is that good or bad? Well, it's deteriorating. Another way to talk about the profit margin is how many cents on the dollar show up on your bottom line. So for X7, instead of saying 7.8%, you could say 7.8 cents of every dollar sold is profit. Or in the previous year, 9.7 cents for every dollar sold was profit. Is this good or bad? It depends, doesn't it? Next ratio we want to do is asset turnover. Asset turnover really shows the magnification between um, the balance sheet and the income statement. In other words, how well are you turning your assets or refreshing your assets kind of uh, to increase the velocity of your profitability. So asset turnover is net sales divided by average assets. For X7, net sales are 360,000. Average assets, remember, is beginning plus ending divided by 2, gives you an asset turnover of 1.3 times. So I'm really not um, leveraging or utilizing or, or, or driving my assets to churn to uh, make them turn over very much. Previous year, same thing. So the uh, asset turnover ratio didn't change between the two years. Um, so what does this mean? That means that I can now take the profit margin ratio, which shows, hones in on the income statement, and the asset turnover ratio, which hones in on the balance sheet, and combine them together into something we call return on assets. And return on assets is net income divided by average assets. And it's really a combination of the profit margin and the asset turnover ratios. So what we're going to do in X7 is the net income was 28,000 divided by average assets, beginning plus end, divided by 2. And you see that our return on our assets is about 10.2%. So, in other words, how well is this manager or this company running their business as far as the resources that we enable them to make that difference? They're getting about a 10% return on those resources. Previously, they got a 12.7% return on those resources. Is this getting better or worse? Worse. Makes me want to know why. Well, from a stockholder's point of view, return on assets is nice, but really what I'm interested in is what kind of return am I getting on my stockholder investment? And that's called return on equity. Return on equity is net income divided by average stockholders equity. For X7, that would be a net income of $28,000 divided by beginning plus ending stockholders equity divided by 2 or 92,000 plus 76,000 divided by 2, means that my stockholders are getting a return of about 33.3% in X7. What was it previously? Well, in X6, it was 41.2%. Now, notice that the return on equity percentages will always be higher than the return on assets percentages. Why? The numerators are what? Smaller for stockholders' equity, so these percentages will always be greater. So when somebody says to you, what kind of return are you getting, ask them, are you talking about return on assets or am I talking about return on equity? Makes a difference.